Oh, We're doing that already? Might as well. It's early. It is early. Jesus. Except for it's not going to stay. You're worried about pressure. I don't even know if they can see this. What's the choice? If you shut down the alternative, what's the choice? At least tell the people what you just told my wife and daughter as we drove out of the driveway. No, we're not going to put it on anything anyway. <laughs> you don't know that? No. Tell them. I rolled down the window. I said, headed to Vegas. <laughs> But that's just what you're supposed to say. Whether you're going to do it or not is a whole other story. <laughs> and rough. I'm ready. Are you ready? So. So you guys know this is take two because <laughs> Ryan decided that he just wanted to do it on what setting was it? It was on time warp. Yeah, so we should put that time warp in like yeah. now. Anyway, <laughs> so we're, we're at SEMA 2022. Uh, we're here at the Elbor booth where we've got Bruce with us here um, and then obviously we've got Royce's car here in the booth which is just pretty cool yeah showing that thing off so um, anyway uh, as you guys have have seen we've run um, their their new tire here the rock monster for the last little while ever really since basically takeover and then before that we've tested out the predator which uh, which really caught us up by surprise and Really good tire. Yeah. So, um, anyway, Bruce, kind of leave. Yeah, you stop talking. Let the yeah, guy that knows know. what he's talking about talk. Uh, yeah, obviously, the rock, the rock monster tire. I mean, it, even here at the show, I mean, everyone, everyone's really liking it. Yeah. Um, you know, I've asked a handful of people. You know, did you see Takeover? Were you at Takeover? And yeah. I mean, we're so close that a lot of the people here, you know, were up there. Were they really? Yeah. That's oh, cool. Nice. Um, so, it, you know, it's been nice, kind of putting it all together. People yeah. have been kind of coming by, and checking it out. Cool. Perfect. Um, Tell but, us about some of the other stuff you guys yeah, have. Yeah. So we got we got a full line. Um, basically, brought everything. This one is our ten ply rated. It is called the Brawler. Um, really hard, made for you know the, the the hard pack kind of terrain like the Baja 1000 or something like you know the Mint 400. Um, uh, then this one, so this is basically our all terrain. Um, we have it from 30s and then up to 32. Now we're about to come out with a 35. Okay. Um, it's been you know highly requested, and so uh, you basically get you know something that's really going to clean out well, but you can also take it to you know utah or arizona and, and still get a good mix of everything yeah cool. um, this is the Lynx. This, one. this one's called the Lynx. the Lynx. that's a good looking tire it really is and then over here so this is uh our like race high speed uh desert spec tire um this is the one that our uh, main sponsored rider uh his name's mike Cafro. he's Shout with um, mike. <laughs> factory polaris mike's been doing really well for us all year awesome um so you know he he's, he's basically helped us design it build it, engineer it, and then uh, he was the first to, to test it and ride it this year. Cool, cool. Um, so, I mean, it's a 33 inch, a little more narrow, okay. um, has a good rounded shoulder, really uh, take you through some of those corners and burns that high speed. Yeah, so good handling. And what's this on one called? Thing. This one's called the Demon. Demon, okay. okay. So Desert Guy's Demon, this is Demon. Your, your go to. Then we got this guy. We know this one. The Predator. We know I, this I've, one. I've seen you guys with this one. <laughs> we know this one. Um, you know, it's it, it again has actually surprisingly done well in, in rock, crawling, hard pack, some light mud, uh, really sand. good like loose dirt, sand. Like yeah. it's surprisingly um, good. It's in the been sand. a good all around deal. Yeah. So. Well, we've we've put it on every car so far. Yeah. And even the cars we don't have anymore. It started its we life on, it on the general real stuff. quick when yeah. it, at Moab, and. Um, and it did incredibly well there, and, and honestly, it's done well everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's so. the other thing. So if, if you are in, like, you know, states where maybe you're looking for, like, a DOT style. Right. Um, this one's DOT approved. There you go. Um, there you go. So that's a nice feature. The other would be that it's pretty true to size. Yes. yes. You know, that's so, what we yep. you know, we have 30s, 32s, and 34. Yeah. Um, and I, I'd say the 34, some people... I think it's surprisingly bigger and almost yes. looks yeah. like the 35. The 34 so. is as tall as some of the other manufacturers' 35. So we put yes. them side by side yep. and they measure true to size more so than a lot of the other advertised 35 inch tall tires yep. that are out there. So Yep. And then back here we, we, we basically have your, your all-terrain utility sizes, you know, so a little bit of everything. Cool. We also have them in some side-by-side -side stuff now, so anything yep. from like 25 for your four-wheeler 
to 27s, 28s, you know, for your 800s and 900s and cool. things like that. So. Well, thanks, Bruce, for giving us a rundown. Appreciate it. Yeah, and no uh, appreciate working with you guys and, and uh, loving the offerings that you guys have for side-by-sides and been really impressed. So if you guys are in the market for some new tires, definitely give Obor a hard look. There we go. <laughs> so we're not running into a lot of side-by-side uh, -side stuff yet, but we ran into this one. One thing we wanted to show real fast if we can see it is that hammered uh, powder coat. Hopefully you can show that. I've seen that texture before, but I've never known what it would look like. Looks really good on this thing. Looks like that. Yeah. We'd awesome. never know from, from a few feet away. So what have we been doing? We've been hunting old trucks, right? We have. And I think I'm gonna make Eric a Ford guy this week. No, no. But look what we found. To be fair, we found some dent sides. Couple, couple of cherry dent sides over here. Which one are you taking? Really? I do. I You're don't going know. blue? I'm yeah. going white for sure. No. Something about like a stock look a on the body. Stock. Yeah, yeah, a little more stock. Dude, yeah. looks badass. Yeah. All right. I like them both. Eric Sport guy. Nope. Oh, here's. Oh, let's talk about this one on tracks. It's got any level it. Yeah. Hey, shout out any level. Yeah. Check that out. Shout out, Easton. Get some get tracks for uh, one of our cars. I want to play it off pretty bad. It'd be a lot of fun. Let's find out. Yeah. Anybody know a track guy? Maybe we'll do stuff. like that side by side thing, like what they did on the on, with the two jet skis underneath it. Maybe we'll just put two snowmobiles <laughs> underneath it. Let's see what we can do. Hey, we'll yeah, be able to figure that out, right? <laughs> I'm not gonna say something, but but you're gonna say something. Use it now. So day two, day one for you. Day one. Hey. What are we going to see today? That's it. What's the goal? So next door is the hot rod section. That's really cool to see like cool builds and stuff. And then the one after that is the technology and and uh, like stereos and Garmin's and all that kind of stuff. Okay. And then the uh, um, the last one's the off-road and, and stuff like that. So we saved That's that one I'm trying to, to go through with you. Yeah. So. All right. So yesterday, me and Ryan, hey, Roy's finally joined us. That joke's gonna be throughout this whole video because I've said it like four times. You said it a couple times. There we go. Old man jokes. <laughs> Dead jokes. Anyway, so we see this Corvette yesterday, and this thing is gorgeous. Preach. This preach. thing is gorgeous. Preach, preach. I'm gonna preach it. All right, fine. Look at this thing. Beautiful. This thing is maybe the most beautiful Corvette that I've ever seen. So we thought. We thought. We thought. Until. Until this. Flash screen. Oh, yeah. Until. Yeah. Bam. Tell us about this thing. Yeah. They were talking about hey. this thing all night. They're all like, right. You gotta see all this. Right, okay. That. So we'll say a couple things. So basically, we, we've got we've got bumpers. There's a rear diffuser. Rear exhaust diffuser. Covers. Exhaust cover. The front, carbon fiber. The front lip on it. This is mirror. Basically, a one engine, of a kind. Engine accessories are all covered right. in carbon fiber. We, we've got some insider information on the paint. It's a little one of a kind. We're just going to leave it at that because um, that's kind of all we can tell you. Um, and this thing is basically for a special customer. We don't know who that is, but we have our suspicious. guesses, yeah. suspicions. <laughs> so yeah, let's let's show this thing off a little bit because it's color, the best dude, that here. color. I think this is Ryan's favorite truck at the show. Is this your favorite truck here? He's on a call. He's acting like he's working. I think this is Ryan's favorite truck is what he was saying. Guaranteed his favorite So this truck is right the now. Battle of the Builders, so we're gonna walk around and showcase some of these, but look at this paint. Drive that thing everywhere. Oh. 
right, buddy. So, <laughs> introduce us to Tr okay. Tron. Yeah, this is Tron. I don't even know what to say about this thing, but we're gonna take a look at it. All right. Detail on this thing, especially the interior, is ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. First thing that jumps out at you is these things are probably 48 inches tall. Yeah. Well, what? Ryan's nine feet tall. And is that what it is? Yeah. For obstacles only. Right. <laughs> <laughs> One piece. Yes, exactly. Lamborghini style door. It's on a hydraulic actuator. Completely custom, everything right. inside. Yeah, so that's the front and rear, all in one door. And on the door, you've got seven speakers. Look at that. Boom. Oh, dude, look at this. I didn't even see that before. The underglow. Yeah. The crown. How about the chase lounge on the other side? Oh, yeah, no dude. kidding. I didn't notice that. Perfect for when your kids want to kick like a mud cruiser. Yeah. <laughs> this is a mud river cruiser. With they no seat seat belt. Belt, so just chill. Yeah, no kidding. Jeez. Wow, look at this. Yeah, the Tron right built in. Yeah. So it might be the best touch there. This wrap is like, is that paint? Oh. I can't tell if it's a wrap or paint, but it's like a pearl. Yeah, look at the doors, how they look on them. Shut. Holy <laughs> smoke. That cage is cool too. Yeah. With those doors, I don't know what it would look like without those doors, but. This part is right here. That's incredible. Obviously not our style, but I think this is the baddest build here. It's it's the green Corvette. Side by side? <laughs> side by side seating. Yeah. Green Corvette is side by sides. All right, fair enough. I don't have anything else to say, but uh, maybe you do. Huh? Set it off. <laughs> Freaking badass. Good job, whoever built it. Yeah, whoever built that, man. Ridiculous. It's good to hold view. Can't pass this one by. It's unique. I'd rather have a boat for a, half, a quarter million dollars, but they get an A for effort. I should use. You think? Probably should use a YXZ on a Yamaha Wave Runner. <laughs> True. I'm just saying. I just wanted to show you guys this cage. Custom audio. Dude, I'm down with that cage. That built-in enclosure is nice. Yeah. I don't know if I do that many speakers, but I'm down with that cage. Dude, if you don't like your hearing and you don't want to keep <laughs> it forever, that's your car. Yeah. Good work on that, though. Yeah. So now it's going. Uh, okay. Yeah, it so we're stopping here. This video might not ever get out, but it's in case it does. Out. Okay. Start over. Uh, jump up there. Here you go. So six foot, six foot eight long. Six eight long. It doesn't look that long, but it's probably a little wider than a side by side. Angles and how it looks. He's not six foot eight for sure. He's like five six at tops. <laughs> Go. So what you want me to get in there? Get in there. No, yeah, that, that's the reason why we. Yeah, no, just climb the ladder halfway. It's also come with the condensation mat. Too, but, yeah. you know, so whatever you want to cut up. Oh, it goes with him. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good big spoon, guy. <laughs> Yeah. So uh, let me explain to you. Oh, he's going in. Yes. So <laughs> show us how to cut off. So what makes it? <laughs> I, just, uh, yeah, I like that thing, dude. Eighty-seven pounds. Gets into the dollars. I know. I don't know if that's the today's sale price or show price. I think it, that's just their price since it's such a lightweight. That thing's cool, man. I'm down. So Ryan took us underground. Hey. <laughs> It's, it's, it's. <laughs> this is your section. Look at the lights in here, dude. So this is the um, Tesla tunnel in the uh, Las Vegas Convention Center. It gets you like from building to building. To building. I come here all the time for work. Didn't know this existed, okay. dude. Hey, this guy's ready. He's ready. So west side? Going to the west. Going to the west. Wait. West building, right? Yes, sir. Okay, what's your name, dude? I'm Johanny. Johanny? Right away. Um, Originally wonderful driver. from Dominican Republic. Okay. Uh, Take the fast lane. Yeah, go that one. <laughs> that Haul ass, foot to the floor. The south. <laughs> but this is the west. Can we wait? Yeah, let's wait. Wait for all of them and then we just go as fast as we can? I wish, but we Oh, you can. <laughs> no. yeah. can, can we turn it off? What if I turn I it off? Will. You won't get in trouble. I'll push I the buttons. You will get in trouble. You push tell me what I need to do, hey, buddy. You know, so this is not Johanny. This is Louise for the day. <laughs> <laughs> just for, for job security purposes. You don't want to get in trouble. All right. <laughs> One guy uh, that tried, he put at like 80 top speed. <laughs> <laughs> next, day, next day, he didn't came back. <laughs> so yeah, I'm trying to, 
I'm trying to come back tomorrow. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Smart man. Yeah. We finally made it over to the off-road power sports section. Yeah. So we're just gonna wander around like we're lost and fill you in on what we find. I'm gonna try to figure out like a mathematical solution to work our way through so we don't miss anything. So we've got like a football field or more of distance to cover in a couple hours. So we'll see what we can get. New Bronco R, this thing is ridiculous. Look at these 40, 42s. about that one which one i don't know if there's any bronco this left on this one. thing no dude but if you can bomb off the back door at all full speed and not even skip a beat i'm in this thing's broken the internet multiple times <laughs> it's awesome I mean, look at this huge so if we can still do two rooms on Sunday, that would be ideal. Rescue Ryan. He's in his element. <laughs> <laughs> I got really excited this when I saw this boy. I think we need to step up our, our game. Dude, I need to, I, I think on the KRX I need to have one, another, maybe a receiver. A rear winch. And then maybe some some of these like multipliers so you can really get some there's not enough can amps in the rocks though. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what the factor 55 slash worn booth? We need some of those hooks, those fancy hooks. I got the Amazon special. Yeah, we need this one right here. Yeah. It's not big. I like the one with the hook on it. Yeah, that's true. Now we're talking the big dog. <laughs> <laughs> this is there, the there's the one right there. The carrot size. That's the carrot size. Which is right. They have the hook and then they have just the, the salt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was the There's a familiar face. I think the channel needs something like that. A fully enclosed winter machine. So Maybe tracks. Is Ryan, tracks? Gonna, is Ryan going to allow a defender if, if it was? Yeah. Do we get a Polaris? Uh, what's it called? Ranger okay or? <laughs> oh. You'll be all right. Look at that, dude. There's hesitation. Oh yeah. Look at this cute little couple <laughs> <laughs> with an Armax. And if nothing else, I'm about to be sitting down for a second. It's all yeah, way to see the countryside. That tent though, hey, look at the size of this tent. I think it's one of those fold and a half ones. I'm gonna tell you right now, there's no way either of us are fit in that. One person? Yeah, you're fine. It it's the size of a twin bed. It looks small. You'll fit in there, dude. <laughs> dude, you would fit fine. Think so? It's over six feet long. <laughs> you're scoot, fitting, dude. Scoot, scoot, right there. That's the end. You still got, you still got seven, eight inches right here. It's more than my size. Yep, sold. Plenty of room. It's about now. <laughs> Pure America right here. Thumper Fab showing off their new doors. New arms. Everything for the Pro R. Huge. Yeah, those doors are pretty cool. Yeah. I like how they come up a little farther. So most doors have come up about right here to tie in with that. So they're screwless. They're the only other ones that have done a screwless exterior pro R door, razor door. Besides Moto Armor. So anyway, pretty cool. You asked me earlier about a KM Defender. <laughs> He's warming up to it, guys. Look at that. But then you park it next to a Ranger. <laughs> Sorry. Dude, that's, a can that's a Defender too in front of it, dude. They're both Defenders. Son of a bitch. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Jump up in there. 
See what you think. I don't really think. Just jump. Hey, it's looking right. It's looking right. Feels good in here, eh? <laughs> Anybody got the maple syrup, eh? <laughs> no, I'm out. Nope. Nope. I think it's cool. That's I think cool. they look so good with the tin and windows and everything. The Dude. wheel. There you go, Bryce. I feel like I'm a bus driver. Hey. Big old wheel. <laughs> Straight up seats, big old mirror, see all the way back. What do you think? I don't know, man. Maybe if it wasn't this tall, something just feels weird. It's the cage is so tall. Like you have so much headroom in there. And you're so high off the ground, it yeah. looks like the front just falls straight off. I don't know. It does. It's like a bus. Things like this one better. I like this one better. I like this one better, yeah. It's got the same feeling, though. This one, is this on portals? Or no? No. Just long travel? Mm -hmm. These are what, 35s? Yep. Yeah. That's the way to go. I like it. I don't hate it. I think it'd be fun to have one. Yeah, it'd be great to have one. Company car. We know it happens to company cars, though. <laughs> I know. They turn into your car. Tell <laughs> <laughs> nice. you what, Liquid Molly booth is popping. Yeah. Dude, what's going on? <laughs> it's freaking popping. It turns out. Both days that we've stopped by, it is the busiest like booth this. we've been at. It is Lots crazy. of people. But, uh, yeah, your tip booth are amazing. It's crazy. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Everyone likes it. Yeah. Additives, oils, and loops. I guess they're. What do you guys? I got zoom off of him. I got nothing out of that. <laughs> I don't. So we found this over here at the HP Tuners booth. It's the Larue Pro R that they've been decking out. Turbo. Turbo. This thing's been doing all kinds of wheelies at Glamis on video that I've seen. Check this out. Check out the chart. Stock 161.35. 603.09 wow so we're talking 600 to the to the wheel that's what i'm assuming it's 161 yeah, 161 in the, to the wheel that's my assumption at 58 miles an hour i posted 51. wow crazy right <laughs> okay one thing one thing guys safety first let's get an aftermarket cage on this thing yeah <laughs> 601 horsepower deserves an aftermarket cage i yeah. agree hey larue we know a guy for a cage so did they. Him up. Yeah, I know. I think you know him. That was you a joke. Him. That was a joke. You know. He needs right. a voodoo cage. Yeah, really. A chrome Ollie 120. Ooh, baby. Yeah. So here's another thing to point out. So we got some flack on our sand tire video a little while back. But one thing we said, if you've got a high horsepower car, you've got your paddles in the back. Oh, no. Boom. Throw these SS350s on the front, man. Awesome yep. on the front. They're awesome. They pull, pull, steer. They steer. That's the big thing. Exactly. Money. Perfect setup. Yeah.